HCAM programming is supported by our viewers, thank you, and by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. And by WPC Pest Control, a family-owned business for over 35 years. Owners Jim and Rebecca Mazzucchelli provide honesty, respect, and integrity, performing safe and effective pest control services. They service your home like it's their home. And welcome to HCAM News, Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to keep you up to date with what's happening in Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, we are on the scene at Hopkinton High School International Night. The Hopkinton Center for the Arts Annual Gala featured some great entertainment and Hopkins Middle School hosted their annual Veterans Day ceremony. But first, here are some happenings in Hopkinton you should know about. The 2016 presidential election has come to an end and town clerk Connor Deegan released the results of the Hopkinton voters. Clinton and Kane received 5,358 votes compared to the 2,911 votes for Trump and Pence. Joseph Kennedy received 6,089 votes for Congress compared to David A. Rosa's 2,964. Robert Jubinville received 4,731 votes compared to 3,696 for Brad Williams for the governor's counselor. To see more results of Hopkinton voters, visit our website, hcam.tv. Construction for the new Hopkinton Elementary School has started. The official groundbreaking ceremony recently took place. We have a uh, legislative citation uh, I will just, you know, read it that, that it's congratulate, congratulations to the Hopkinton Elementary School Building Committee in recognition of your joyous occasion of the groundbreaking for Hopkinton's new school and that uh, we wish you continued success and uh, all the best and, and uh, here, it's yours. <laughs> congratulations. Check out our YouTube page or website, hcam.tv, to view the groundbreaking ceremony in its entirety. Hillers Volleyball won their first two playoff games and has advanced to the sectional championship to take on Canton. In the first round, the Hillers defeated Medway by way of the sweep, and then in the second round, they battled a tough Westboro team third straight season Westboro and Hopkinton met in the playoffs. The Hillers won the first two sets. Westboro took the third and gave the Hillers a run for their money in the fourth. The Hillers took the 3-1 victory and continue on in postseason play. Stay tuned to our website hcam.tv for the latest Hillers sports updates. Hopkinton High School hosted International Night and attendees had the chance to talk with 22 exchange students from several different countries. Some of the students gave short presentations about their culture. Food and items from the various countries were also on display. HCAM's Mike Terosian was on the scene. So, uh, when we talk about China, when people try, want to go to China, so the first city uh, come to a head is is Beijing, is our capital, it's a huge city. It has 22 million people. So this is International Night and uh, Hopkinton High School has a fantastic uh, foreign exchange program. So here we like to showcase the different cultures from the uh, students and their different backgrounds and uh, just, you know, uh, show the uh, population, the student population at HHS, what uh, these other kids uh, experience on a day-to-day -day basis in their native countries. And uh, you have any role here tonight? Uh, I'm in charge of the uh, Brazilian and Colombian table. I helped me, uh, prepare the food, make the posters, and uh, kind of set it all set it all up. And what kind of experience have you received being a Hopkins High School student? Did you receive by having foreign exchange students? 
Uh, well, I've definitely uh, improved my Spanish, uh, helping out at the Colombian table. I've learned some Portuguese, and I also learned that uh, we're not as different as many people think we are. And what is your role in this whole thing? So myself, uh, Andy Longoria and Laura Tice, uh, an internet, uh, world language teacher, and Andy, our liaison uh, at the level of recruiting the international students. We as a team bring in uh, each year 15 to 20 students from around the world that we feel like will create a strong cohort, bring diversity to Hopkinton High School, and give these students from around the world an opportunity to experience an American education. Uh, uh, experience and in, we, and in regards to my role I kind of uh, handle their visas and Homeland Security paperwork and things of that nature we we interview them we check in uh, where, where they were going to school make sure that they'll be strong fits for our community and then in the uh, late August we have an orientation welcome them to Hopkinton we've made some changes in the last couple of years creating an ambassador program where we're connecting Hopkinton High students some of which are behind me right now and really trying to build some friendships early on in the school year, going to events such as uh, apple picking or heading off to a haunted house or all going to an away football game, trying to make some longer, uh, stronger connections that perhaps the last few years we missed an opportunity. So this new program we're excited about, we're expecting to see the uh, results of that tonight. It's an opportunity for us to highlight our exchange program um, and the students as well. Uh, and also we have our student ambassador program. We have over 30 students here in Hopkinton that uh, work with our uh, students, our exchange students, and I, I think it's an opportunity for us to celebrate the whole program that we have. So the goal for tonight is just for our international students to showcase what they bring to our community and for the people in our community, our students at the school, to to get exposed to that, to get to meet these students, because they're here for the whole year, most for the most part. And uh, I want them to create those friendships. They see them in the hall, they now know who they are. And, and uh, I think that the international kids here take a lot of pride in what they're doing tonight, uh, and they put so much effort into it. So just for the other kids to see that and to see where they come. What, what kind of things uh, can we expect to see this evening? A lot of food. <laughs> and I think that's what a lot of the students are most excited about. Uh, but there's a lot of food. They're going to do some um, presentations about where they're from, uh, lots of music being played, and just get to ask each other different questions. And, and a lot of the students here are looking to see how teenage life is in other countries. So I think that's kind of cool for them to make that comparison. And we also have a paper attorney here. They are excited. The, um, the Ambassadors Club is responsible for the production of tonight's event. And this is their first year. They have just energy that, uh, and excitement that uh, comes with doing it for the first time. Yeah, there's a little anxiety on that, on that part. But there's also that excitement of really wanting to show their stuff and do the best they can. And I think that's what, that's what you see as far as their energy goes. Yeah. And that, that one example is so important that will decide where you, go, where you are going to college. This is, this is a very, very uh, normal picture in China. There's uh, p uh, students that get in line and get some lunch, and people are still starting. That's the main thing, is that they, they recognize that we have a program that's bringing the world to Hopkinton High School and, to, and bringing these people in to, to be part of our community, further increasing the diversity of our, of our population, student population, and bringing a different perspective that uh, maybe they might not hear if they were there were in the classroom and you have a, a Chinese perspective of history, an Italian perspective of their history, as opposed to the US uh, perspective as is presented. You can view many pictures from the Hopkinton High School International Night at seeninhopkinton.org. Hopkins Elementary School hosted their annual Veterans Day ceremony. Veteran Michael Whalen and State Representative Carolyn Dykema were on hand to view the student presentations and spoke about the meaning of Veterans Day. Speaker, come on over. Ian has something he would like to say. On November 11th, each year, we celebrate Veterans Day. First, what is a veteran? The term veteran means a person who serves in the act active military, navy, or air service, and who was honored, discharged, or released. This means anyone who survived in the Army, Air Force, Navy, Marines, or Coast Guard. Thank you, Ian. How did Veterans Day begin? Veterans Day was originated as Armistice Day on November 11, 1919. 
the first anniversary of the end of World War I. Congress passed a resolution in 1926 for an annual observance, and November 11th became a national holiday beginning in 1938. Still to come on HCAM News, we have highlights from the Hopkinton Center for the Arts Annual Gala, and Courtney Taylor will get you up to date with upcoming HCAM programming with our HCAM Insider. A whole lot more ahead on HCAM News. Stay tuned. HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. Come down on Thanksgiving morning and join us for the Hopkinton Lacrosse second annual Turkey Trot. It's going to be a 2.5 mile course around the high school and supporting fields. 
Registration can be done on the link below. The race starts at 7.30 in the morning and all proceeds go directly to the Hopkins Lacrosse program. If you're free, come down and burn some calories before the big meal. Hi, my name is Margie Wigan, and I want to invite you to join me for my new show, Character Matters, on HCAM. We're going to talk about why do people choose the behavior that they choose? Why do they choose to be good? We're going to hear from people in history. We're going to hear from local heroes who make great choices. And we're going to hear from some puppets who talk about things they've seen. And they're going to say, what? Did you see that? Yes, I did. Please join us. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. Welcome back to HCAM News. The Hopkinton Center for the Arts hosted their annual gala to celebrate the HCA's first anniversary in their new home. Supporters of the center, donors, and community members bought about 150 tickets to the event. The theme of the event was color and light, and flashing ice cubes and drinks, light-up necklaces, and various other light-up items were distributed to guests. The event featured a performance by some past and present HCA students. More red. And a little more red. Blue, 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 blue. Even, even. Good. Bum, 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 bum. More red. More blue, more beer, <laughs> more light, and red and purple and white. Sometimes, sometimes not even blinking. <laughs> Look at this play, girls. Oh, who's No, stay in the shade, girls. It's getting hot. And it's soft inside his eyes, and he burns you with his eyes. Look at her looking. And you're stuggy like light. Forever with that mirror. What does she see? And you look inside the eyes. Pink lips, the red cheeks. And you catch him. I'm a sophomore in college now. Um, I've been part of the HCA, the Hopkins Center for the Arts, for about six or seven years now. Um, this would, standing here, would not have been possible, say, at the beginning of seventh grade. Um, towards the end of seventh grade, my parents dragged me over to auditions for Schoolhouse Rock Junior, which was what would become the HCA. Um, I did not want to go. I ended up leaving auditions in tears without having sung Do Re Mi or whatever I was going to do. Uh, but this just shows you how incredible the people here at the HEA are. Mary Scarlotta Rowe, the director of, of that show, actually called my parents and invited me back. And I was told that I could come to a couple of rehearsals. And if I still did not like it, I could leave. Uh, so I was like, okay, fine, I'll do that. Lo and behold, I loved it. I found the most exciting confident group of people, which is something that I really lacked. 
And that became my community for the next six years or so. I ended up graduating Hopkins High School. I'm now a sophomore at Harvard, and I owe the place where I am today completely to the HGA. It just completely changed my outlook and how I'm able to present myself. That's why it's so important. Um, so I really encourage all of you to stay part of the HGA for as many years in the future as you can, which is what I intend on doing. It is difficult to overstate how much color and light it has brought to me, to my family, and to Hopkinton. lot of great programming is coming up on the HCAM channels. Standing by to tell you all about it is Courtney Taylor with our HCAM Insider. Hello everyone and welcome to the latest edition of the HCAM Insider. On Monday, November 14th at 7 p.m., Linda Hoffman shares her experiences of purchasing a farmhouse and an apple orchard on a new Wake Up and Smell the Poetry. There were no drawers or cabinets, only open shelves for plates, bowls, mugs, and glasses. Along one wall on the floor, heavy pots for making jam and stalks stood like sentinels. Above a wood-burning cook stove hung a patchwork of blackened iron pans. No fancy countertop covered the surfaces. This was a work kitchen. At 7.30 p.m., Lauren Dubow gives insight into what goes on at Center School on Highlights from the Hill. Our physical education teachers have worked closely with classroom teachers in terms of what are uh, standards and expectations that you're working on and how can we support that in our classes. On Thursday, November 17th at 7 a.m., the State of the Town Address will air live on HCAM TV. At 7 p.m., the School Committee meeting will air live on HCAM TV. And on HCAM Ed, the second Hopkinton Athletic Field Subcommittee Feasibility Study will air throughout the week. If you want to know about all of HCAM's shows before they air, head on over to hcam.tv slash connect, where you can sign up for our HCAM Insider Newsletter. Or if you want to know about everything happening in town, you can sign up for our daily news updates. As always, thanks for watching HCAM. Now back to you, Tom. Thank you, Courtney. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget to stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website hcam.tv as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. Right now on our website you can view more from the Hopkins Elementary School Veterans Day Ceremony 
and also the latest in Hiller's fall sports playoff action. If there is a photo, video, or story idea you would like to share with us, feel free to email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. Take care, and as always, thanks for watching HCAM. HCAM is supported by our viewers and by Blackstone Valley Wealth Management, providing highly personalized financial planning, wealth management, and customized solutions through transparent, unbiased advice. Visit us at BlackstoneValleyWealth.com.